Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a general uh, work and career reading for Virgo from the 20th of August to the 3rd of September 2018. Uh, don't forget to watch your moon and rising signs for a more complete picture. I put the decks I'm using down in the description box and if you'd like a personal reading I put the details in the description box as well. So please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm just going to draw some cards for the general energy reading and then we'll do uh, the general tarot reading after that. So you need to prioritize and focus on your goals at this particular moment. Uh, there is a possibility of um, you know, losing some of your belongings, so make sure that you are looking after your things very carefully. And make sure uh, you, know, you might have uh, needed to seek some sort of legal advice uh, regarding your finances as well. <coughs> so watch out for any kind of loss of property a prioritization and a need to focus on your goals and you might need to be seeking some sort of legal advice. In the past, you needed to balance your life and make sure that you were centered. Uh, you may have received some sort of finance coming in uh, in an unexpected windfall situation. So you might have received some extra money coming in. So going into the future, you've got some sort of good news coming in and there might be a promotion or a salary raise going on with you. So um, prioritize and make sure that you're focusing on your goals and there's some sort of promotion or salary raise coming in and, uh, you know, that's going to probably be uh, the good news that will be coming into your life. So I'm just going to draw a cards from this deck. I have shuffled it. I'm just going to cut the deck. So the main energy is um, the 10, obsession, um, which is talking about, uh, you know, spending a lot of time um, worrying about the little uh, nitty-gritty details of things. So being really obsessed with whatever you're doing in the sense of, you know, um, micromanaging everything that you're doing. So you're spending a lot of time and focus and effort and energy, uh, and you are, um, you know, making sure that you are tending to all the tiny little details of whatever you're doing. Maybe your job involves something that is very scientific, that requires you to be very, very meticulous in what you're doing and, uh, you know, spend, put a lot of energy into making sure that you are on top of all the facts uh, and details uh, of what you're doing. So that's your, the job. It seems to be a, a lot of intellectual work um, involved in it and, you know, sp spending careful um, examination of all the facts of, of all of all the details that are going along so this is what uh, is required of you from your job and you're spending a lot of time doing that uh, maybe spending a lot of time alone as well uh, so maybe it's a job that involves is the solitary career uh, and a lot of scientific uh, um, information involved in it so you're focusing a lot uh, spending a lot of time focusing on the details of that job so the main situation is sacrifice and um, it caused, and it's crossed by controlling or direction. So you're needing to give up something in order for you to take on a leadership position over here um, and control the direction in which your project or whatever you're doing goes. So I need to give up something um, in order for you to get what you want. It might be giving up time, um, money, uh, something of yourself. Uh, and it's left you feeling really uh, miserable that you have to make the sacrifice in order for you to reach this leadership position. But you have to see the bigger picture and there is a bigger goal uh, and you will, you know, you're taking on the position as a team leader uh, within whatever you're doing. So you're gonna have to give up something in order for you to, um, 
to reach this goal. It's an, something emotional that you have to give up. You, you, you know, you've got a lot of people in the background watching and waiting on you to do this. So you're going to have to give this up, and it's, it might make you a bit miserable. So maybe you have to give up a mo bit more time and freedom uh, in order for you to become this leader uh, and be this team leader uh, and lead these people to victory. Uh, but you're going to have to do it. So this is what is going on with you at this particular moment. Um, in the past year, you've been focusing a lot on your work. Um, you've been making a lot of uh, breakthroughs in whatever you've been doing and, you know, marching to the future with a lot of determination, getting things done. Maybe you've had a lot of travel going on, on regards, with regards to your work, but spending a lot of time um, um, with this work and focusing a lot of your intention and moving... Uh, you know, managing to get through, get through barriers, get through things, get things done. So, you know, you've been very determined and you've been doing it and you've been working day and night as well doing this. So all your energy and effort has been going through that and you're like steamrolling through everything as well. So you're not letting anything hold you back. <coughs> and you're very capable as well with the magician card. Uh, you've been multitasking a lot, a lot of projects going on, a lot of time spent, a lot of energy spent doing this particular work. Um, you know, it's been taking up your time, maybe you've done a lot of travel um, and you are quite good at what you're doing um, and it's taken up a lot of your time as well. So a lot of focus, energy, effort going into this and a lot of multitasking going on with it. Um, you've been, uh, you know, asking for advice or you've been thinking about seeking some sort of advice with the guidance card, which is the Hierophant. So or maybe you've been thinking about education, further education. So this is a card of expert advice, expert information coming into you. And you're thinking about doing that. You're trying to find an alternate route to whatever you're doing. So whatever thing you're doing, you're trying to find something, an alternative solution to whatever your problems is. And you will be seeking some sort of expert advice uh, with regards to that. So somebody who, um, who can advise you on how to choose a different way, a different path uh, to get to the same goal. So uh, you've been thinking about doing that. Um, you've got a lot of confusion going on around you, in your mind. You are, uh, you know, you are a bit confused. Um, there's a lot of um, with the fantasy card, which is the moon card, not seeing things for um, the truth. Now, the moon card always warns that there's a lot of lies and deception going around and that the, all the information is not being ava made available to you and that you shouldn't make big decisions without actually having all the information and facts available to you. So it tells you to hang on and wait for, um, for clarity to come. So this situation is confused, unclear, and you don't really know what's going on. You're not quite sure about what is happening and it is not a time to make major big decisions. Um, there is somebody um, that you will connect with um, you know, it'll be like almost like a fated, uh, almost a soul connection with this person uh, who will come to help you. It's a union card, a partnership kind of card coming in for you. Uh, so there is somebody that is going to come in. It's almost like a soul made connection. So you will know it in the minute you see it. Maybe that person is in your uh, arena at the moment, in your business, um, in your workplace, but somebody that you will be able to get ideas of and somebody who will be very supportive and will allow this confusion who who bring clarity into this confusion because you can see the sun is rising here so sun always brings con uh, clarity and whatever confusion is going on in your head on where you are you don't really know what to do this person comes in for you and helps you hone in on your skills and helps you get through the confusion or cut through the crap if you like so somebody there giving you some advice and it's somebody that you can connect with People see you, uh, that you're doing whatever your job you're doing is very, you're very good at it. You have an aptitude for it. Uh, it is something that is, you know, you're, you, it's almost like you were born to do it. So it, it, you do your job very, very well. And, you know, it, it's almost artistic the way you do your, your job. Even if it's a scientific uh, job, you seem to, to add that element of uh, artistry into your work. And you do have a great aptitude for this particular work. Uh, you're trying to be very, very logical. You're trying to think... Um, to manage your time, especially with all this confusion with the, with the magician card where, you know, everything's up in the air and, you know, you're having to do so many things at one go. You're trying to bring in that balance. You're trying to bring in that um, where you're, you're handling things one step at a time and you're managing your time. So you're doing it very, very logically or you're trying to bring logically, logic into the situation. So the final outcome cards, you've got assumption, evaluation and examination. So... Um, with this assumption card, um, it, it's talking about, you know, you have to uh, 
um, go and look for facts and information uh, in order for you to bring the, a light into the situation. So in order for you to see the clarity, you're going to have to go and dig up information. This is a new cycle beginning, so you're going to have to dig up the information. It's you that's going to bring the clarity. You're going to have to look for that information to get you out of the situation. It's not just going to come to you. So you have to do some research. There is evaluation coming up for you, so people are looking at your work and deciding whether or not you are uh, capable or whether or not it's worth investing in you, and that's what they're doing. They're deciding whether you're a good investment or not, and they are examining whatever you've done. There's nothing you can do. You're just going to have to sit and wait um, because this is not um, something that you uh, really can um, change. Uh, so you've put in the investment, the time, the effort, the energy into it, and now you're going to have to wait for them to uh, make a decision. And with the judgment card, whatever things um, with the examination, which is usually the judgment card, which tells you that whatever, you know, examine all your facts very carefully, make sure that you are approaching it uh, very meticulously, make sure all your, your um, you know, eyes are dotted and your T's are crossed kind of thing. Make sure there's a lot of scientific evidence uh, supporting or backing up whatever you're doing. And whatever doesn't serve you, whatever is not working out for you, make sure you abandon it and only take the things that are positive with you into, um, into the future. So whatever lessons you've learned from mistakes you made, uh, make sure you take those lessons and apply it to whatever you're going to do uh, so that you, in order for you to achieve um, um, you know, um, a positive result. So all the lessons that you've learned, uh, take it with you. All the things that are not serving you or the people that are not serving you, leave them behind and take only the positive things. And, you know, it's a time to reinvent yourself to make sure that people are seeing you as a person who has learned a lot from the experience that you've uh, gone through, from the work experience that you've gone through, and that you're a person who can apply all the science into your work and be very meticulous. And somebody that is a leader, because you are uh, going to be taking on some sort of leadership role and leading some sort of team. There will be some sort of support for you coming in to make sure that you see the clarity of the situation. And um, if you need to get some sort of expert guidance um, to guide you, that is a good way to go. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot, and that's just for advice. So the first card, you've got the Six of Spring, which says wonderful news is on its way to you. Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. So the Six of Spring, a victory card, some good news coming your way. And, uh, you know, you'll be making some good choices as well. And the second card is uh, the Princess of Spring, which says it's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons. Let your creativity take flight. So you do need um, to... Um, go after whatever you believe in. You need to focus and you need to make sure that you're thinking big rather than thinking small. And the last one is the Queen of Winter which says let go of people or things that are no longer serving you. Now is the time to focus on your career. Um, so you know you do need to um, give up with this judgment card. You do need to give up things and the people that are not working for you and move forward into a more positive uh, direction. So just, you know, abandon things that are negative and only go towards the positive. And those people that support your career, the people that you should really be associating with, especially, you know, with this card of union, there is this kind of partnership coming in, some sort of help, some sort of support coming in. So focus on that and make sure you're leaving behind negative people and focus on your career to move forward. So I hope that this uh, particular reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments. And thank you so much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.